We'd always have this thing in my house of who was going to get up first. I would be shaking my sister to say, Santa's been, I think now how annoying I must have been as a younger brother. But I knew I would never be up earlier than my dad because my dad's a brickie. And I would hear rolling news channels talking about, oh, it's already been Christmas in the Middle East. It's already been Christmas in Australia. And I'm like, did you see him? Did you see Santa? No, no, I must have missed him. I'd probably been up since about two in the morning, so I was really hyper. Trying to get everybody up, trying to get everybody up. And sometimes I'd spoil the party by having opened my presents up before anybody even got into the, the, the lounge, you know, where the tree and the presents were. I mean, it's really hard to maintain that level of excitement and that kind of high adrenaline and high octane environment the whole day consistently. <laughs> But we start off well. There's always a nutritious breakfast. It's usually chocolate and crisps. And that will see us right through until about 9 a.m. when we just start to devour celebrations. You know, you're playing with your toys, you have breakfast, and then you start eating from 12 noon to Boxing Day, nonstop. You have your opening of the presents, your parents go back to bed for seven hours and then just watching their exhausted faces as you open up a bunch of stuff that needs batteries and them to realise them, we didn't buy batteries and nothing works. <laughs> just that moment of them being like... <sighs> I wanted a transformer. You want one of these toys that start as one thing and end up as something else. I got several toys that did that. They started off as a working toy and by Boxing Day they were in the bin. I wanted the Action Man Assault Tower. I had the Action Man and I wanted the Assault Tower. I never got the Assault Tower. I stamped my wee feet and my dad claims that he walked to the only place that was open in Glasgow at that time, which was a cash and carry, like a 10 mile walk or something to get me this toy. Why didn't you just like, just tell me to shut up and enjoy what I was given? And also, why did you walk? Santa was quite ahead of his time. So he decided to recycle my cousin Pat's bike which was a Rally 20, it was brown, it was covered in gonk, and I'd prayed for a chopper. I'd been so good, I was like, please, please, please get a chopper, please, please get a chopper. I remember getting up in the morning, opening the living room door, and it was Pat's Rally 20. <laughs> good eating. <laughs> and Pat got a chopper. I had this aunt who just loved to buy us things that, you know, were just a bit quirky. She said to me, if you can guess what's in this, I'll give you a thousand pounds. And it was quite heavy. She told me, don't shake it, don't shake it. And I opened it up and it was a stuffed guinea pig in a presentation case. 